Today we're going to be installing custom support struts on my C8 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be doing some more stuff on my Corvette. Now what we're going to be doing today is a custom strut brace that goes on the uh, back part of the engine compartment here that goes right here like kind of the V as you can see it comes up from the strut here goes back to the back does the same thing over there and probably in the picture you probably can see where it says the Corvette channel and it's red and it has the silver writing in it. And so here's another one. This is one that we, we have also, and this is, uh, I'm gonna show you both of them here on the table uh, that we set out there. So um, I've teamed up with a company uh, called uh, Jones Services, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that information here up on the screen, but they came up with these beautiful support brackets, okay, these struts, and um, or these braces, I should say, and they just look really, really good. Now you can see this is their base model that right here. Um, it's just black, simply black with the design in here like this. But then they also have these these little spacings in here, and it just they just look really nice. So, like I said, uh, you'll be seeing those here on the screen in a second. But these are the base ones that they carry and they are beautiful and you're going to be able to see what these look like inside the car. I did a side-by-side -side comparison, this one on one side and, and the uh, red, red mist ones that we did custom for, the, uh, for my car. And so you're going to be able to see both of those. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video and I'm going to show you how these things are installed. Now they're very, very simple to install and um, it just makes the engine compartment. Now, like, as you know, I have done a lot on the inside of my engine compartment and you can see that it just has this really awesome look to it, these, these things. It, it's just beautiful. And it, that works even with the fact that I have all of my covers on it. But you're going to see in the video, I'm going to show you how we did it and you're going to be able to see what it's like to not have to have all those covers on it and just how nice these look anyhow. So this will allow you another option instead of having to put all these covers on different things. If you have not, you say you just got your car or you haven't done anything to the engine compartment at all and you haven't bought those covers yet, you might want to consider just going with something like this instead of having to cover it up. Now I'm going to show you this here real quick. This is the new and improved version from, from Jones Services, right? This right here is the plain base piece that came out of my car. Very, very, it's, it's, so, uh, it's so thin, it feels so cheesy in comparison to how this feels. This is solid, it, it just really is strong, you can tell. You can tell how it, when it goes together, the way it feels in your hand, the whole shoot match. So um, go ahead and sit back and we're gonna show you how this is all put together. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the package here. I'm going to show you just how nice these things are packaged. Now, you can see right here, pretty well wrapped up, right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this stuff out. Now, your box will be a little bit smaller because what we got in here is that um, they have sent me two different sets. And one is uh, one is my red ones, they're the custom ones, and then there's also a black set, which is the the standard basic set that they always keep in stock, so they're very ready, readily available. Get all that out of there. Okay, now we can start opening up our our new toy. Wow! Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at that. Is that not beautiful? I mean, that, that is just awesome. Okay, so that's one of them right there. All right, like I said, very well packaged. Oh yeah, geez. 
Look at these. Aren't those beautiful? Wow. Wow, just beautiful. All right, so let's get those off to the side. And then let's get over to this set here. So guys, I'm assuming that these are gonna be the black ones. Now, if you don't wanna get all fancy, like I did with having my, my Corvette channel in there, then this is gonna be your perfect go-to right here. And it's still gonna look awesome, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Yep, here we go. So take a look at these. So they're they're just black with the chrome, you know, with the uh, uh, with it with the cutouts, right? But then, and you've I've seen these before, right? This is what really got me. Take a look at the top. Take a look right here. You see all this design right here? Well, that makes it so. I've seen these where you know you've got your support going on in your in your engine compartment, and then everyone puts the covers on. Well, this makes it where you don't have to put the covers on. I mean, this would make the engine compartment look great even without those upper the upper pieces. It just they just look friggin' awesome. So guys, here's some side-by-sides here. This is the black set. This is the basic set. Um, and you can see that that would be your left and your right, just like that. And then here is the more advanced set that has the scripting on it and is done in the color. So that's basically how they're sitting inside the engine compartment. So all of these other ones that I've ever seen done and they don't have this like laddering kind of uh, design to it. So if you can imagine, even if you don't have those covers that's, that's going on right over in this area here, it's still gonna look beautiful. So if you have a car, and that goes with either one, depending on what you wanna do, but I mean, it just really dresses it up. I mean, look at that. So this gives you a complete another option on how to do your engine compartment. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see here, I'm gonna take you over here. I've got a lot of stuff I gotta take off to be able to do this. And I'm gonna put the camera up on a tripod and we'll go ahead and we'll just do this, uh, you know, we'll just kind of speed through it as far as me taking all of the stuff off to get to the pieces that we need because the pieces that we're going is gonna go right here. So this way, we'll, what we'll do is we'll put those pieces on, I'll let you see what they look like before we put all this stuff back on so you guys can make the decision on whether or not uh, you know um, it, you're gonna put all this stuff on or if you're just gonna add it to what you already have but the way they built these it's just make gives you so many more options okay so I've got a lot of stuff going on here that I've got to pull off so we're gonna start over here with the X brace and we're just gonna pull this little guy loose So now we've got this bolt right here. I'm gonna take that one loose. And now I'm gonna pull my, my trim here off of my trunk so I can pull this piece loose. This pulls up and out. And then that reveals the clearance here. And I have mag ride, so I've got a little clip here that I've gotta get taken, I gotta clip loose and then I should be able to move this around. This little guy here, we can go ahead and pull that, and we should be able to lift this up. Once I do the clip, I should be able to move this out of the way. Now we've got our little clip here, and I just have a, a clip remover here. I just have to get kind of in there. Nope. 
You just want to be careful with these clips, guys. They are plastic and they do get brittle. There we go. Just like that. We'll just move this over here like that, and then that gets us to where we can get to the rest of the bolts. So now we've got a little pinch clip here. These little guys, they just pinch in. It's like that. Pinch that one right here. And just like that. And that releases releases the lines from it. So there we go. Got that taken care of. And then you've got your your other little clip at the bottom here that's holding holding the wire, your mag ride wire, onto the bottom of the bracket. I can get my myself down there. There we go. There we go. And that popped out. It sounded like it broke, but it doesn't. So again, it's just a little Christmas tree. Alright. And then these are just about ready to come out. Now that we've got our screws and our covers off and everything else. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can pull these little guys out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, well, we're going to remove these. And what these do, you're just going to like rock these just a little bit to get those to come out, okay? And they'll come out. They may be a little bit tight, but they'll come out. Okay, I'm going to pull that one off, set this one off to the side. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the other side over here. Just like that. All right, so now I want you guys to be able to see the two different ways of doing this. So we're gonna do the black side over here first. We're just gonna set them in place, okay? So I want you to be able to see what it looks like. Put the custom one over here. So we're gonna put that one in this spot, okay? And that's, we'll fine tune it here in just a second. But what you can see here is it's the exact same thing, except this one will allow you to get any color that you want to get done. And you can do your, engra your custom engraving on the side. And this one is the, the one that is just the black with the, uh, with the silver. And that really, really decks it up. It really makes it nice, okay? So now take a look at this. I'm just gonna set a cover on. On I'll put both covers on, you can kind of see what it looks like. But there's no reason. Like I said, if you haven't already started to do your your um, do the work on your car to do stuff like this, this is a great enhancement, but then it also makes it so you don't have to have these covers if you don't want to. But let me set that in place so you kind of know what that would look like. Okay. You can see right there, that just really looks cool, right? Let me put this other one on this side. So now we'll put that one over here. There we go. Now take a look at that. You want to talk about customization? You're not going to get much better than that. I can tell you that right now. All right, so now we've got that. We're gonna go ahead and pull this stuff back apart. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the black one out because I am gonna go ahead and put my red one in. All right, so now we're gonna go right here, just like that. Okay, get that lined up. Now what we can do is we can take our bolt it's lined up. Ok, 
Okay. There's that. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll just start putting everything back together. Okay. Got to put our bolt here back in and our bolt right here back in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll put that one in here. That'll get this one started. So you're just going to get that fine tuned. It's right where it goes. got our rods in place we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our two our back bolt in on each one of these okay so I've just got them started we're gonna go ahead and snug them down now and we're gonna get get those down and then we can we can get our front bolts in I'll we'll go ahead and get this one on here like so so we get this down here and snug in place We'll go over to the other side here and we'll tighten these bolts down. Alright. Okay. Snug these down. So now if you didn't have the covers, you'd be pretty much done. You'd just be with snapping, snapping these little clips into here. They go into these two slots right here. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that on this one. This is built in, guys. This is uh, this is something that's uh, something that's built into this this setup here, which is really cool. And this just goes right in, locks in place. Just going to get it in the right spot here. There we go. That one in there like so. And there we go. Okay. Then like that. Alright. And snug it down. Okay, so that side is ready. We'll go over to the other side and we'll put it together. I'll pull my wire through. I'm going to make my connection and put it back together. Snap my little safety snap and put my clip back where it goes. But you'll just have to feel for it. But it... Let's see. That's right. There, I feel it. It's gotta get to go. There we go, guys. All right. So now we just need the other trim piece. Okay. Just like that. It sits down there like that, and then I'll put my put my trim on here in just a minute. Okay. Actually, I can probably go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and get that on. Trim is on. Put the X brace back on there. Okay, just 
just like that. Okay, go. I'll tell you guys, these look really nice, even without the uh, cross brace, the X brace here. I'm thinking, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, now let me snug this little guy up. I'll do that on the other side and we will be done. All right guys, what do you think? I think it looks pretty darn good to me. That looks awesome. So guys, hopefully you saw how easy it was to install these. And now, I, obviously, yes, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my engine compartment and it took a little more time to take some of that stuff off to be able to get to those, those uh, support struts. But it was well worth it. And they just look awesome. And so like I said, we can go all the way from the very basic simple one that they have all the way up to color matching with custom lettering that you have uh, engraved in it. And so you can really, really bring out that customization in your car. So if you have that need or want to be able to do that and just get that one step up, then you don't have to look any further go ahead and reach out to jonesservices.com. Actually, it's jonesservicesLC, I think it is, .com. I'm gonna put that information right here on the screen. Or you can reach out to me at scott at the Corvette channel, um, actually corvettechannel.net. Or you can reach out to the Corvette channel at gmail.com and reach out to me and I'm gonna go ahead and put that information on the screen. And we've worked out a deal that I can get you guys a 5% discount off of the regular prices. And that way, if you guys go through me, we'll just go ahead and we'll get you the discount and then we will go ahead and have the part drop ship to you. Okay, so uh, hopefully uh, you'll see a need or want to be able to get a set of these for you. I love mine, I can tell you that right now. So guys, um, I just wanna thank you guys all for watching today. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, and I say this all the time, but if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of all of our next uploads. And guys, I just wanna thank you guys all one more time. We'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. with their nails done now.